Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over how to add real time reflections to your games in the Blender Game Engine. So in this tutorial we'll be going over how to add a plane as you can see here with parts of it being reflective and parts of it not being reflective. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is go File New, open up a new blend file, then click Blender Game, GeoSL, and an animation frame rate of 60. Here we're going to press X, delete the cube, Shift D, and I'm going to add myself a plane. And let's scale it up to something like that. So S to scale. And then once you've got that, let's call this our ground. And on top of this, we need some sort of environment for it to reflect. So let's press Shift A, add ourselves a UV sphere, make it smooth. Then press Tab, go to Edit Mode, or you can just select Edit Mode down here. And then we'll go to UVs and Shading, and we want to flip the direction of the normals. This just means that the outside of the sphere doesn't get rendered and we can only see the inside. Then I'm going to press tab and go back to object mode and then I'm going to press S and make it really large. Then I'm going to press numpad 1, numpad 5 and then we'll go over here, click new, make it shadeless and then go to the texture tab, click new, choose image or movie then I'm going to go ahead and open up a sky texture. So this one here should work fine. If you don't have your own sky texture, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Then what we're going to do is press tab, and we'll go to edit mode, then press U, and we'll go to sphere projection. So now if we go into texture view, we should have a sphere like this. What I'm also going to do is make a new window. Here we'll choose UV image editor, and then select our sky texture, and I'm going to press SY. Scale it on the Y axis and then GY and just bring it up. And this will mean that we have more sky around the middle section. Alright, so now I'm going to press H to hide that. Then select our lamp here and go to the settings and choose Hemi. And then we're going to press Alt R to make sure it's facing downwards. Then on our plane here, I'm going to select the material tab, click new. And here we need to give it a name. So let's just make this uh, reflect. And then what I'm going to do is turn off the specularity, then go over to the texture tab and click new to make a new image. Now this here is going to be our reflection texture, so let's go ahead and just call it reflect as well. And here we can just open up any image. So I'm just going to open up a random one from my desktop. So once you've done that, we're going to go up the top here and go to game logic. And then from here, we want to have our plane selected and we want to go add an always on a true pulse, add a Python controller, join the two together. Then on the left, we're going to add a game property. And this here is going to be called material. And then we're going to change it to a string. And then here we want the name of our material. So select the material tab and then select reflect, copy and paste that and put that in there. Now what we need is a script to run our logic. So let's go ahead and click new. Maybe call this reflect.py. So down in the description below is a link to the script. So go ahead and copy and paste it in. Or you can go to text and open text block and then open up the script. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it in like so. Now the script is originally from tutorials for blender3d.com. Lots of other cool tips and tutorials on there if you want to go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description below. So now all we need to do is go ahead and plug reflect in here and select texture mode. Now one more thing we have to do is select our plane here and press tab, go to edit mode, U and unwrap. You can see we have the default image on it. You will need this before the reflection will work properly. So now if we press number 0 and we press play, you can see we have a reflection of the sky above it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a mask to our reflection. This basically just means that some spots will be reflective and other spots won't. So the easiest way to do that is just to open up GIMP, make a new file, uh, something like that. Then you want to select the whole thing and make it all black. And then you want to get a brush like this one for example and you want to paint the spots that you want to be reflective. So for example here, if we give it a bit more size, we can go ahead and select the boundaries of our puddle. Alright, so once you're happy with your shape, you can go to File, 
export as and put it on your desktop or somewhere and just save it as mask alright and then export it out then go back into blender here go to the second texture slot click new and making sure it's image or movie click open then open up your texture like so and then what we're going to do is down the bottom here we're going to click multiply then additionally what we're going to do is we will add the background texture so this is going to be the actual material so add a new texture slot again and then open up a new texture for example here I have some concrete and then what you have to do is scroll down to the bottom and choose screen and this will add all of those on top of each other and so just to make sure this works let's press shift A add ourselves an empty and move it up here then go to layer 2 and press shift A add ourselves a sphere make it smooth and then we want to select another material let's just choose our bright orange one and then go back to layer 1 and we want our empty here to always on a true pulse maybe of like 20 and we want it to add in the spheres so here select sphere.01 add a time of maybe 600 now also we need to select this and make it rigid body and in the collision bounds let's go ahead and choose sphere so now if we press play we have our balls being added but the reflection for them is on the wrong side so to fix that what you have to do is open up the tab here and then go to UV image editor then press tab to go into edit mode and then in this window press Control M and X and this will mirror it on the X axis then go back into object mode and so now it should play properly now if the background texture like the concrete here is too bright for you what you can do is you can just turn down the color here and it will darken it and make the reflections a bit more obvious now just to make it a bit more interesting I'm going to select the ground here add some motion then add an AND controller join it in and make it rotate a bit and then join this into the ALWAYS so now if you press play you can see it's moving and we're getting all the different reflections so there we go guys that's the end of this tutorial hopefully you enjoyed it if you did feel free to leave a like comment or share down below all of that stuff is greatly appreciated if you think anyone else might find this useful feel free to share it with them as well if your one didn't work out there'll be a finished dot blend down in the description if you want to go ahead and make sure it's working properly but apart from that hope you enjoyed the tutorial have an awesome week and i'll see you guys in the next one